that is a great fish. Oh, look at that. Absolutely lovely. Well, I'm here with Angel and he told me last week you just wouldn't believe how many big trout are in this river. So we're gonna go and catch them. It's winter time and the big trout are running up from like Taupo on their way to spawning, a bit like steelhead do in the US from the lakes. And uh, yeah, pretty decent sized rainbow trout. Um, generally up to sort of three to six pounds. So some good fish around and hopefully in really good condition. I'm gonna be indicator nymphing today and Angel's gonna be euro nymphing. And we'll see how the two stack up. I thought it was time to get out the good old indicator rig and set up that and show you how I use it and, and how to catch fish with it and how it's set up. So I'll do that later in the video. I'll show you how it's all set up and hope you enjoy. Let's get to the fishing. Bit of a walk to go. Okay, I've just got my indicator rig today with a heavy nymph and a egg at the moment and that's how I'm going to make a start. Okay, got one. Oh, I'm into one. Good to be on board so quickly. I was a bit late on the strike on that one. Took the egg as expected. Ah, oh, came off. Just at the netting. Yep, there we go. Right under that log. Nice. Hopefully I can keep this one on. Yep, the egg is expected. Jack, look at it. Nice. Nice Jack. Nice Jack, it's been in the river for a while, quite dark, but yeah, good to get a fish on board. Pretty happy about that. Awesome. Fortunately I lost the first one, but it was a nice fresh hen, but yeah, nice Jack. Last look there and let's get it away. I was sitting just about there. There we go, same spot. Ah, oh, broke me off on the branches. In the trees straight away. I know where they're sitting now. Put a few cars through here. Inside edge. Yep, got him. Yes, that feels like a good fish. This is a good fish. Strong, oh, it's very strong. Okay. On to, hopefully I can land number two. This feels like a good fresh fish. It looks nice. Yep, took the egg. My last BC orange clear drift egg. BC orange clear drift egg. Oh, oh it's wrapped, it's wrapped, it's wrapped. That's wrapped, got wrapped. Oh no, this is not good. got wrapped in the second fly. Okay, it's unwrapped. Oh, no, it's not, is it? Yeah, it's back. Back normally. Uh. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Beautiful hen. No, oh, that is a great fish. Oh, look at that. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful fish. Water for a second. Oh, just look at that. That's what we want to catch. Beautiful fresh in. Okay. Very last look. Very cool.
Yep, got him. That's awesome. That was like another reasonable fish. Not as big as the previous one. Took the egg again. Winter fishing is all about when it goes like this. Awesome. Nice. Not as big a fish as the previous one, but still a nice fish. Uh, very cool. Get that one upside down. Okay, cool. Let's go swim that way. Come on. Yep, got him. It's a good one. Oh, I gotta keep him out of those snags. There we go. Nice. Lovely jack. Look at that. That's what a fish. Great fish. Great fish. Well, it's undeniably going pretty well for me this morning. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the fishing at the moment. It's yeah. it's fantastic, really. It's really good. So. Um, Hal probably wouldn't say the same, he's, he's, he's not having a good morning, but it will pick up for him, sure, I'm sure, very shortly. So, hopefully, we'll, the next fish we see will hopefully be his. Okay. <laughs> nice fish. No bad. We got a tangle. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Oh, I see what happened. I know. That's not good. No. Okay. Also, will they fix it? That's right. Okay, I'll go and net it for you. Okay, nice fish, got him. Nice. That's an unfortunate tangle, that. Right, let's talk about my setup. I am fishing today with the nine foot full weight V top rod. And on that I've got the Trapper Spider Reel with a performance floating line. And that's all from Isla Fly Fishing. The reason I'm fishing with a full weight V top is because this is a small river. So I don't need a big rod. Quite happy with what the full weight V top can do. And to that performance fly line, I have a nine foot 3X tapered leader. And then I have more 3X attached to that. That is, in total, it makes the leader length about a rod and a half. So maybe another what, four foot attached to that uh, diapered leader. And then I have a, at the moment, a orange beaded, double bead, rubber leg fly. It's tied in the style of a Simon's Ugly. Uh, it's my own tie there with rubber legs and then copper wire and hair fur and stuff. Got that on there and then I've got about 30 centimeters to a egg. Uh, at the moment I have a 4 millimeter Tikapo orange clear drift egg on there with a veil. This morning I was fishing a 6 millimeter BC orange clear drift egg and then a orange Tikapo orange or orange haze uh, 6 mil after that. And they all caught fish, and the orange bead on this caught a few fish. It's a pretty simple setup. What I have got is I've got the uh, indicator on here. In the Taupo region here, you only allow yarn indicators. So this is a New Zealand style wool strike indicator. And it's got the tubing on there, and it can slide up and down. Works very well. It's got a bit of floatant on there to make it float. And uh, this is just sheep's wool. Um, so yeah works really well that's the setup and you know just cast it upstream and let it drift down try and get as natural as possible drift mend your line and get that fly down deep to where the fish are at the moment so that's why I'm using the double tungsten I really want to get down deep I don't want to be in amongst the fish I don't want to be anywhere else so uh, that catches fish so I hope you found that useful okay we're gonna fish this we're gonna fish this together 
I'll fish this side, close to the snags, and my car's gonna fish the other side. This usually holds quite a few fish. Well, and has got one. Oh, nice. Very nice. Lovely fish. Happy man? Yeah. <laughs> After I a got... slow start, you're picking it up now quickly. I know, yeah. Very it took cool. me a while. Awesome. And Angel is into another one. Nice one. There we go. Good job. Finally. Getting there. Nice. Another one for Angel. I've already banked it pretty much. You were right about the uh, numbers of big fish in this river, that's yeah. for sure. And Angel is in again, he's making up for lost time now. Nice. Cleaning up now. Yeah. What's working? Show us a fly. That's Angel's Harvey bead, tungsten body fly that's been doing the damage. And what's your other fly? And a orange egg. Very good. That's a good across, I hope so. Well, I want to really go on the inside edge, but hopefully they left the trick. Yep. No, that's exactly it. I'm losing slack, 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 slack. I don't want slack. Nice. Nice, got him. Another lovely fat hen. Beautiful fish. And the fish are in good condition. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Really good morning so far. Have another look there. I don't think this is going to be able to work underwater, but we'll see. jumped over the log. There it is. He literally jumped over the log. Oh, I can't see this is not gonna work. Unless I need him this way. Well how I manage that I don't know. But uh it's over the log. <laughs> I'm not gonna take the flies out. Well how I landed this fish, I don't know. Good fish though, it jumped over the log. Amazing that I landed it, not sure how. But yeah, let's get that one back in the water. Very cool. Yep, got him. Took the orange bead, smaller jack. Nice. Nice, smaller jack, little fish, but 
Pretty cool still, awesome. Get it away. When it's on, it's on in this river. Lovely fish, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Very good, let's get that one back. Yeah, there you got it, that's the, that's the spot. That's gonna be a fish, almost certainly. It's gotta be, yep. <laughs> nice work, on camera, perfectly done. Perfectly done. That's pretty cool. I could see where the fish were. Angel just got a perfect drift through there and bang. It's just a pot of fish that was sitting there. And uh, that's kind of a key with these rivers in the winter. Find a pot of fish and fish to them and you'll catch fish. But they sit in pods like that, like you have seen on the drone footage. It's a group that sit in a specific spot in that area by the logs or in this case on the opposite bank. And if you get a fly in there deep enough, you'll hook them. That's three hooked out of here now. Although I haven't done well landing mine. Hopefully Angel gets his out. Let's go and see. It's funny because I'm not so big that way. No, I think this one is bigger than you think. It's a really strong one. That one. <laughs> Your net is right behind you. Your net is. You're trying to lose it, is it? Nice fish. Lovely thing. That's going to be on Hell's dinner fish. So uh, we'll leave him to deal with that. And uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look at the last fish. Beautiful hen. Let's see if I can re rig and maybe get another one before we finish. Yep. Got him. Okay. Wow, this is going fast down. Be careful because it's going to the other side. Ah, this is coming. Wow, that's probably fish of the day for me. Lovely fish. Beautiful, Jack. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this is one away. Wow, what a day. Well, Hell was certainly right about the amount of big fish in these rivers at the moment. That was a pretty good day. If you enjoy these videos, really consider subscribing and watch another one up here. Good video, watch that one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.